Time synchronization can be critical for remote live production scenarios. If you have multiple devices streaming the same event from multiple angles, even a split of a second difference will bother the viewers. Lyrics Broadcaster can insert SEI metadata with NTP-based timestamps into content and stream it via SRT, RTMP and RTSP. The decoders can use that input to provide the synchronized output. In this video we'll have an Android phone streaming RTMP with SEI metadata, then we have an iPhone streaming SRT with SEI metadata. Both devices will use NTP server for time sync up. Nimble Streamer software media server will receive both streams and will generate two synchronized NDI output streams. We have a separate video showing Nimble synchronizing inputs from Makito X encoders. Check the description for a link. Let's start with the Nimble Streamer setup. We have the latest version of Nimble with SRT and transcoder packages with an active transcoder license. First, let's define RTMP input by adding RTMP interface and input application. Second, we define SRT input for all interfaces with a specific local port. We also specify the output stream name for further usage. You can find links for RTMP and SRT video tutorials in the description. Let's use RTMP settings to set up our first Latex application. We use Latex Grove format to exchange the information, but you can do it manually as well. Here's Grove dialog providing proper Grove QR code. We use an onboard camera app to scan it. This initiates the launch of Latex Broadcaster and the import of settings. Here you can see that our connection is ready for usage. The next important step is to enable SEI metadata insertion. Go to advanced settings and enable respective parameter. You may also change the NTP server if needed. We will also enable a text overlay showing current time. Let's go ahead and start the stream. Now let's set up the second Latex app to stream SRT. We use Latex Grove Wizard to make another QR code with all settings. The QR code is scanned by iPhone camera and the settings are imported into the app. Notice one second of the SRT latency parameter. Enable SEI meta insertion in the advanced menu along with setting the NTP server. Notice that you need to use exactly the same NTP server across your devices to make sure your time is exactly the same everywhere. We also use a timestamp overlay to show current time. Let's start the stream. When we go back to the control panel, we can see both input streams running. The final step is to set up the NDI outputs. Nimble Live Transcoder is used for that. Check the video description for a detailed NDI setup tutorial. We define a new scenario. Here we add a decoder and specify the name of our first stream. You must check forward SEI metadata box. When creating NDI output, we specify a timecode delay. It's a buffer which is used for aligning all frames of the same time point. We use three seconds. Audio NDI output must also be created. The second stream is added the same way. Don't forget to enable SEI forwarding for the decoder. The timecode delay must be the same across all streams which you want to synchronize. When you save the scenario, it will be applied within a few seconds. Once it's complete, the NDI output becomes available. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. You can see that they are in perfect sync. The delay is exactly 3 seconds, just like we defined it.
So you've just seen how we used SEI metadata to sync two mobile devices into synchronized output streams. Check video description for all related articles and video tutorials related to the technologies mentioned here.